Welcome to the spoken tutorial about setting preferences in LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, you will learn how to set the following preferences. Properties, create versions, view in color, grayscale, black and white. Here, we are using Ubuntu Linux version 10.04 as our operating system and LibreOffice Suite version 3.3.4. Let us open the file 3D objects chart that we had saved earlier and go to page 1. Suppose we want to add descriptions to this file for later reference. To do so, from the main menu select File and click Properties. You will see the Properties dialog box. Click the General tab. All the information that is relevant to the file is listed here. Please note, we can only view the file details here. You cannot make any changes. Next, click on the description tab. Here, we can enter the title, subject, keywords and comments as per your requirement. This information can be used as reference later. In the title field, let us type 3D Objects Chart. In the subject field, we will type 3D Objects Comparisons. In Keywords, we will type 3D and 3D Effects. Finally, in the Comments field, let us type Learning About File Properties. It is a good practice to type information that is relevant to draw file. In addition to the properties present in the description tab, you may want to set your own properties. For example, you may want to know the date on which the document was prepared, the editor of the document, the client for whom the document was prepared, etc. Draw has the feature that helps you customize this information. In the properties dialog box, click custom properties. Here you will see three fields, name, type and value. Let's click the add button at the bottom right. You will now see drop down boxes under each field. Let us click on the name drop down and select the option date completed. In the type drop down we will select date time. The value field will now indicate date and time. Let us not change the date. In the time field, let us enter 10 colon 30 colon 33. Now, you know the date on which the document was prepared. Let us add another field now. Click Add. You will see a second list of drop-down boxes. In the name drop down, let us select checked by. For the type field, let us select text. In value, type the text A, B, C. Click OK. That's how you add your own properties to the draw file. Now let's learn how to delete a property that we created. Go to the main menu, click on File and select Properties. In the Properties dialog box, click Custom Properties. Let us delete the first property checked by. Click the Remove Property button on the right. The property is deleted. Click OK. You can save multiple versions of the draw file too. This feature is called Versions. For example, you may add objects on the first day and save it. The next day, you may modify the drawing. You may want to have a copy of both the original drawing and the modified drawing. Let us save the file using the version option. From the main menu, go to the file and click versions. You will see the versions dialog box. Click on the save new version button. You will see the Insert Version Comment dialog box. Let's type the comment version 1. Click on OK and then click on Close. 
Now let us change the text in the title. Geometry in 2D shapes and 3D shapes. Let's change the color of the text to blue. Let us save the file using the version option. From the main menu, go to the file and click on versions. Click on the save new version button. The insert version comment dialog appears. Type the command version 2. Click OK. There are now two versions listed here. Version 1 and version 2. We know that the version 1 is the file with the black colored title font and version 2 is the file with the blue colored title font. Let us select version 1 and click on open. We can see the version with the black colored title font. You can enable automatic saving of versions every time you close a draw file. To do so, click on the file and then click on versions. Now, a checkbox option says Always save a version on closing. Check this box. This will ensure that every time you close the draw file, a new version will be saved. Click Close. You can also set the viewing preferences for your draw file. You can view your drawing in color, grayscale or black and white. By default, we view the draw file in color. Let us change the view to grayscale. Click on view, click color or grayscale and select grayscale. You will see that the objects are now displayed in gray. Now, let's change the view to black and white. From the main menu, select view and click color or grayscale and select black and white. You will see that the objects are now displayed in black and white. You can switch the view back to color again. To do so, click on view, click color or grayscale and select color. The drawing is again displayed in color. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, we have learned to set the following preferences in draw. Properties of a draw file. Create versions of a draw file. View the drawing in color, grayscale or black and white. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Desicru Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.